This training guide is how to check your for a corrosion survey with a wall thickness gauge. Inside the box we will find the probe, the meter, and the gel used to check the corrosion. Remove the meter, probe, and gel for corrosion survey. Next you'll want to attach the probe to the meter Use it, making sure the two prongs slide into the top of the meter nice and easily and seat them all the way firmly down. Next you'll want to turn on the unit. Allow it to power completely up. You'll see a inches millimeter button. You'll want to ensure that it is on mid inches by put depressing the button. Next we're going to calibrate the probe by putting a little bit of the sonic gel on top of the cover. This also serves as a battery cover and a calibration point. Press the zero probe. Notice that in the upper left corner it has a full bar status to ensure that you have proper connection. Here we test the probe on a piece of quarter inch steel. We read two hundredths off. Pretty, pretty close. Next you'll want to check your inlet scrubber below the inlet nozzle in a staggered pattern to, to find any washout areas that may be offset. You will also do the inlet 90 or piping that is of carbon steel in an offset pattern also to ensure you got the best corrosion survey possible. Place a little bit of the gel on the end of the probe. Attack press the probe firmly against the su suction scrubber notating that the upper left corner shows a full status for good connection and record your reading and repeat several times beyond the, the initial also check your inlet 90 again pressing firmly ensuring that you have a good connection and record your readings do you want to check your inlet scrubber with any associated carbon steel piping and below the inlet nozzle to your suction scrubbers. Check the area around flanges. You'll want to do the bottom of your header boxes and discharge nozzles of your coolers. For, check for corrosion. Also, you want to check any carbon steel piping that may be on the discharge side as you could have some washout or corrosion occurring. Check the discharge of your sulfa trap also on the inlet in, inside of the 90. Again, checking header boxes on coolers. Um, coming in, you'll want to check a little bit on the inlet nozzle and definitely on the discharge nozzle associated piping on the discharge nozzle and anytime you have a elevation change you definitely want to check the bottom side of that elevation change. This concludes our corrosion